హై ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐ ఆమ్ బాలాజీ రావు వెల్కమ్ టు బిఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వి విల్ లెర్న్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఇంటీజర్ ఫంక్షన్ డొమైన్ రేంజ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఇంటీజర్ ఫంక్షన్ అండ్ వి విల్ లెర్న్ హౌ టు డ్రా ద గ్రాఫ్ ఆఫ్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఇంటీజర్ ఫంక్షన్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఇంటీజర్ ఫంక్షన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో నౌన్ యాజ్ ఫ్లోర్ ఫంక్షన్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఇంటీజర్ ఫంక్షన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో నౌన్ యాజ్ స్టెప్ ఫంక్షన్ ఐ టెల్ యూ వై దే నేమ్డ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఫ్లోర్ ఫంక్షన్ స్టెప్ ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్టర్ కంప్లీషన్ ఆఫ్ ది గ్రాఫ్ ఫస్ట్ వి విల్ లెర్న్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఇంటీజర్ ఫంక్షన్ ఏ ఫంక్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఫ్రమ్ రియల్ నెంబర్స్ టు రియల్ నెంబర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అ ఫంక్షన్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ టు వేర్ రియల్ నెంబర్స్ టు రియల్ నెంబర్స్ and how the function is defined the function is defined like this it is defined as f of x equal to look here we read it as greatest integer value of x or simply we read it as step x here from now on words i'll read this as step x the function is defined as f of x equal to step x and what is step x it is greatest integer less than or equal to x i'll explain this with examples first let me complete the definition greatest integer less than or equal to x is called greatest integer function what is greatest integer function a function f from real numbers to real numbers is defined as how it is defined by f of x equal to step x what is step x step x is greatest integer less than or equal to x is called greatest integer function now i'll explain this with examples okay in this definition this is the important thing f of x equal to step x step x is greatest integer less than or equal to x for example if you want to find step 1.5 what is the value of step 1.5 see here greatest integer less than r equal to this equal to we use only when this x is an integer so for time being you just forget about this equal to step 1.5 is what step 1.5 is greatest integer less than x x is what here x is 1.5 step 1.5 means greatest integer less than 1.5 you observe here i just considered a number line you identify where is 1.5 in this number line you can see this is 1.5 correct you observe the integer less than 1.5 look this part only integer less than 1.5 you see this is integer less than 1.5 this is integer less than 1.5 this is integer less than 1.5 all these are integers all these are what all these are integers which are less than 1.5 what they are asking in these integers greatest integer in all these integers which one is greatest look here which one is greatest one is the greatest integer which is less than 1.5 please try to understand so what is step 1.5 step 1.5 is 1 what is step 2.34 what is step 2.34 what it mean it means that greatest integer less than 2.34 you identify where is 2.34 on the number line see this is 2.34 okay now you mark all integers which are less than 2.34 this is integer less than 2.34 this is integer less than 2.34 all these are what all these are integers which are less than 2.34 in these integers which one is greatest you see here this is greatest so what is step 2.34 step 2.34 is 2 i hope you are understanding now you see step minus 1.5 many students will confuse at this point what is step minus 1.5 it means that greatest integer less than minus 1 point first point you observe where is minus 1.5 on the number line you can see this is minus 1.5 correct now you mark all integers which are less than minus 1.5 integers less than minus 1.5 see this is integer which is less than minus 1.5 this is integer which is less than minus 1.5 this is integer like that all these numbers left side numbers are 
integers less than minus 1.5. You can see in these integers which one is greatest? Which one is greatest? Minus 2 is greatest. Minus 2 is the greatest integer less than minus 1.5. So what is the answer here? Answer is minus 2. See instead of checking like this every time we have a trick to tell its values immediately. Suppose if you want to tell step 1.5 value. What you will do? You identify this 1.5 is in between what integers? You see 1.5 is here in between 1 and 2. So left side what number is there? That is the answer. Step 1.5 is 1. Okay. Similarly, you see step 2.34. Where is 2.34 on the number line? You see this is 2.34 on the number line. You observe that this is in between what integers? This is in between the integers 2 and 3. In left side what number is there? That is the answer. So step 2.34 is 2. Similarly, you observe here step minus 1.5. You mark minus 1.5 on the number line. You identify it is in between what integers? It is in between minus 2 and minus 1. Left side what number is there? That is the answer. Left side what number is there? Minus 2 is there. So that is the answer. Okay. Now you observe I will write a few values very quickly. Step 3.41. You observe that 3.41 is in between integers 3 and 4. Left hand side what number is there? That is the answer. Step 3.41 is 3. Now I will calculate one more. Step uh, minus 2.91. You observe minus 2.91 is in between what integers? You can see this is it is in between the integers minus 3 minus 2. Left hand side what number is there? What integer is there? That is the answer. Step minus 2.91 is minus 3 minus 0 0.5. How to find its value? You identify where is minus 0 0.5 on the number line. You see here my, this is minus 0 0.5. This is in between what integers? This is in between minus 1 and minus 0. Left side what number is there? Left side minus 1 is there. So step minus 0 0.5 is minus 1. So I hope you understand uh, step x is greatest integer less than x. Now we'll discuss about greatest integer less than or equal to x. For example, you see here, now I want to find step 2 value. Step 2 value. What is step 2? Greatest integer less than or equal to 2. Here, you mark 2 on the number line. See, this is 2 on the number line. Greatest integer less than 2 means all these links will come. All these are greatest integers all these are integers less than 2. Here equal to 2 also coming. Try to understand. Step 2 means greatest integer less than or equal to 2. Here equal to 2 also coming. 2 is an integer. This is an integer. Try to understand. So this also we will consider. These are all the integers which are less than or equal to 2. In all these integers which one is greatest? Which one is greatest means 2 is the greatest. Why all this confusion? Very simple. Whenever integer is there, its answer is integer only. Step 4 is 4. Step 5 is 5. Step 0. Step 0 is what? Step 0 is 0. Step minus 1. Step minus 1 is what? Step minus 1 is minus 1. Step minus 2. Step minus 2 is what? Minus 2. Okay. So last two examples. Step 1.98. Yes, what it is? It is in between integers 1 and 2. Left hand side 1 is there. So answer is 1. Step minus 3.98. It is in between minus 4 and minus 3. So left hand side what number is there? Minus 4 is there. I hope you understand how to calculate greatest integer values. Now I will write its domain codomain range. Domain. From the definition of a function, we know that f from a to b is a function. Listen, if f from a to b is a function, then this set a is called domain. So here, this is the function from real numbers to real numbers. So what is the domain of this function? Domain of this function is this set. What is this set? This set is r. So domain of greatest integer function is set of all real numbers. f is a function from a to b. Then what is set b? Set b is codomain set b is called codomain here this is a function from real numbers to real numbers 
So what is codomain? Codomain is set of all real numbers. Now important one. What is range of greatest integer function? Range. What is the definition of range? Set of all images is called range. You observe here what is image of 1.5? Image of 1.5 is 1. What is image of 2.34? Image of 2.34 is 2 with respect to step function. Step minus 1.5 is minus 2. That means image of minus 1.5 is minus 2. Image of 3.41 is 3. You observe all these answers. You observe all these answers, please. You observe all the answers. Is there anywhere fraction is there? No. What all these answers are? All these answers are integers. You can observe that. All these answers are integers. Whatever real number you take in domain set, its answer is an integer. So all images are integers here. So what is the range of a function? Range of the function is set of all integers. Okay. Now we will learn how to draw the graph of greatest integer function. You observe here, I consider coordinate axis to draw the graph. And you look here, I consider some x values and I'll write corresponding step x values. When x is 0, what is step 0? Step 0 is 0. Step 0 0.3. Step 0 0.3 is what? 0. Step 0 0.6. 0. Step 0 0.9. 0. Step 1. When it is an integer, answer is integer only. Step 1 is 1. What I'll do? I'll mark these points on the graph. Mark these points. First point is what? 0, 0. So, this 0, 0 is a part of the graph. This is included. 0, 0.3, 0. Where is that 0, 0.3, 0? It is on x-axis. 0, 0.3, 0. 0, 0.6, 0. Where is that 0, 0.6, 0? Here that is 0, 0.6, 0. 0, 0.9, 0. This point 0, 0.9, 0. When x is 1, f of x value is 1. Where is the point 1 comma 1? Here is the point 1 comma 1. Please try to understand this carefully. So what happens? The If we join all these points, you will get a graph like this. Here the important point is this 1 is not included. It's a open circle. You need to observe this carefully. Okay. So I'll take a few more x values here. We will see what happens. Now you observe here when x is 1, step 1 is 1. Step 1.3 step 1.3 is 1 step 1.6 is 1 step 1.9 is 1 step 2 is what step 2 is 2 so here i'll mark all these points we already marked the point 1 comma 1 this is 1.3 comma 1 1.6 comma 1 it will be here 1.6 comma 1 1.9 comma 1 that will be here when x is 2 Step 2 is 2. When x is 2, step 2 is 2. That means the point 2 comma 2 will be here. So if we join all these things, what happens? Now you observe here, this point is not included. What point this is actually? 2 comma 1 is not included. So the graph will come like this. I hope you are understanding. You can see this side closed circle is there. This side open circle is there. Similarly, if you continue the graph, the graph will come like this. You please check for all other values. The graph will come like this. And I said I'll tell you why they named it as a step function. You can observe this graph. It looks like steps. It looks like floor steps. That's why it is known as floor function also. If I further continue this graph, you will get graph like this. You see? And left side is closed circle and this right side you need to draw open circle. That means this point is not included. Further, if we continue this, the graph will be like this. Okay. It is important to remember how the graph of greatest integer function is. It is not compulsory to write these values and to draw the graph. Just to explain how this graph we will get I taken some of the x values. How the greatest integer function looks? It looks like a floor steps and this left side part is closed circle, right side part is open circle. I hope you understand this class. In this class what we learn? We learn the definition of greatest integer function and examples to understand greatest integer function. 
we learn domain codomain range of greatest integer function and we learn about graph of greatest integer function